So this is the new camp light we picked up. I've been following this company for about six years. Um, this is a 2014 model, and it actually belonged to somebody who worked for Camp Light, one of the executives. So I've been looking for one of these for so long. Um, this is an 11FK model, and usually brand new, these are about $28,000, uh, maybe a little bit more, maybe a couple thousand dollars less, depending on the package. This is one of the nicer ones. Uh, it's a 2014, like I said, but I'll tell you why I like it. Now, cruising around to the back, you know, this has got a Dexter axle in it, which is really nice. I love Dexter axles. They're much more heavy duty. <clears throat> it doesn't have a rear pop-out. The rear pop-out actually devalues these quite a bit um, because you're subject to rot, you're subject to leak, you're subject to a lot of different things with the rear pop-out. Now, on the newer ones, I'll take you inside for a minute. And excuse the mess, please. Now, on the newer ones, the faucet and the stove are reversed. On this one, for whatever reason, uh, I don't know if it's just for this year, the faucet is on the left-hand side and the stove is on the right-hand side. Let me show you why I like this. Let's pull out this. <clears throat> you can see that there's just this one pipe here. Now, the pipe on the other one, because there's actually show you both here actually goes over quite a ways the pipe actually goes down on this side and goes the length of this and that might be subject in my opinion to leakage something that'll leak really bad you know you always have leaky pipes you don't really have to worry about leaky pipes on this because it's all aluminum but I don't want the thing leaking too bad so most of your plumbing is over on this wall actually all of your plumbing is over on this wall because inside here is your toilet so I kind of like it all more compact than one wall but to each his own. That's one reason why I like this setup a little bit more because it's a 2014 and it does have that. Now the ground you can see is all aluminum. That's one thing I didn't like too much, but I can put carpeting to take care of it. This actually is insulated underneath from what I was told. So this right here, um, just like I said, you've got your, fire, your furnace on the right hand side or your, uh, your range there, and you've got the thing on the left. I like that much more. But to each his own, everybody's different. So let me close these up. And one thing I hate about these is that where this was, we had a riveted, or it wasn't riveted, it was bolted right to the floor um, table. And it looked like it was kind of jerry-rigged in there. Um, we took that right out. What we did was we took a piece of plywood, three-quarter inch, and when we're not using this, we store the plywood. You can see there plywood all around and when we're not using this as a bed we can fold it up and sit you know a bunch of guests and stuff like that around the outside let me hit the lights on for you that might help a little bit and we can turn it in just to a, a regular dinette a you know u-shaped dinette we do have an aftermarket uh mattress coming in this i'm six foot four and I stand up in this thing perfect, even though it measures to six foot three somehow on the inside. I don't know if that's because of the air conditioner, because I do hit my head on that. But all this other stuff is beautiful. One thing I didn't like is they didn't put another storage over on this side, but that leaves me up for some creative ideas. So everything like that, I did take out this right here. I, I wanted to leave this there, but I did take the mounts and stuff like that for the TV out because first of all, there wasn't a TV on it. And second of all, when you go camping, you don't go camping to, you know, um, watch TV. If we need anything, if we want to watch anything, we do have laptops, you know, laptop is all contained. This is one of the nicest units I've ever seen. We had to drive 800 miles to pick it up. Um, and I do have to order some stabilizer jacks or some stabilizer uh, hitch for my camp light because it did blow quite around with my ridge line. Another thing that they featured in other models that they don't feature this is they have a full, it's a full refrigerator. Now, I don't like that as much, and I'll tell you why. And with a refrigerator, you can always get like aftermarket refrigerators and stuff. We do have what we call a Coolatron. It's called a Coolatron, um, and that's, it's basically a freezer, and we can fit it perfectly in here, in this big storage. This storage is absolutely perfect for clothes and stuff like that, which I feel is more important. Um, the Coolatron will fit in there. It'll fit pretty much anywhere. <clears throat> and that's a, that's a lot of room in there. I mean, I can reach my entire hand in there. That's about, 
oh, let's see here. That's probably 24 inches inside. And this thing, everything is aluminum on this. I really like this camper. Take a look into the bathroom. And believe it or not, I even fit in here. Now, I have to slouch and stuff, but you're not taking a bath or a shower all day. Or you can sit on the potty. I bet you that how, that's how that lid got broke. We did get a killer deal on this, and I was very happy with the price. And it is a very big bathroom. You know, one of the things when I was looking at camp lights, I gave you another shot into the bathroom, is that nobody ever really gave you a shot into the bathroom. So I'll give you a nice <laughs> quick shot into there. And this has got all three tanks. It's got fresh water, you know, black water, and gray water. And this thing only weighs in at about 1,800 pounds with a tongue weight of about 140. Um, again, it depends on the year. So we took that table out, and it really, the table actually opened it up nice and, nice and pretty. I mean, it opened everything up, so you got so much more room. You know, you can stand in there and stuff. I just wanted to make the bed to kind of give you guys a shot what the bed looks like down because most of the camp lights I looked at, um, the bed was up and the, the dinette was set up. Now, dinettes are cool if you have a table that you can store somewhere, okay, especially in a camper that's a little bit small like this one. Um, having a dinette that's screwed into the floor isn't justified. I mean, it's not really something that you should uh, – it, it takes up a lot of room, basically. All LED lighting. Um, it has a Dexter axle, like I said. The windows are really cool on this. Let me show you the windows. This, this slides down. This slides up as a screen. This slides down as a, um, just a regular, uh, what the hell do you call it, a, a, a divider so nobody can see through. And these slide right out. And they're hydraulic. They've got hydraulic uh, shocks on them, which helps out a lot. And I mean, all in all, this thing, I would definitely live in this. I'm six foot four, about 285 pounds, or about 270 pounds, and it's very nice. It's nice and cool. Um, the floor and stuff like that is very warm, even though people are like, oh, it's cold. I live in New York where it gets very cold. And you're going to have to excuse my mess, but like I said, um, this thing is pretty cool because we can store that anywhere we want. And we do have a folding table if we want to eat in here, but let's be honest. When you're out camping, the last thing I want to do is actually eat inside my camper. I'd like to eat outside because that's what I'm doing is trying to enjoy some of the nice weather. Thank you guys for watching.